Well, uh, this is interesting. So I was looking on this article, uh, Tweak Town. Um, apparently, the scalper or seller he was trying to resell a PS5 Pro 30th anniversary limited edition console on eBay for you know how much? For ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Like who's gonna pay for ten thousand dollars just to buy the like a PS5 Pro limited edition? Who's gonna pay for it? Like seriously, man. Do you do you do you realize that nobody's gonna pay for ten thousand dollars just for a console? That you know, that's like you know, you could just use a ten thousand dollar, you know, buy new a brand new car, you know? Or for your down payment, see? That I, I just don't understand why these, you know, filthy scalpers are trying to resell the a PS5 Pro limited edition console on eBay for just ten thousand dollars. Yes, there are some people are trying to sell for like two thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. Oh, this is just getting ridiculous. Yeah, you can even see on X. Well, it's also known as Twitter. See, it says, Attended to buy for you is the craziest scalper method I've ever seen. $10,000? Go fuck yourself. See? It's got a screenshot right here, too. Everyone's mad, and then it just showed up, you know, last night until it got taken down. Yeah, even on Reddit. Yeah, you got some Myers that doesn't want to accept the truth, but yeah. This was true, you know, it was posted last night on eBay, then, then all of a sudden it just got taken down immediately. You know, people did just massively flag it, massively report this, uh, this, this scammer right there. Um, yeah, so he, he cannot sell anymore, so that's why he, probably his eBay account got banned somehow. So yeah, you, you cannot sell this console for $10,000. This is illegal, you know, this is just not right. Because most people can, I can't afford ten thousand dollars, you know. And and besides, this is not even ten thousand dollars, you know. Um, if, if you look on, you know, the official, you know, the PlayStation site, yeah, of course, it, it should be. Um, I don't know how much was how much was it? I forgot. I think it was seven hundred dollars if if you just buy the you know the original PS Five Pro. But I'm here. I'm just looking at the. Uh, 30th anniversary. Let, let me see. Hold on. Let me look on the PlayStation blog. Uh, all right. Let, let me retype that. Okay. Keep looking down. Yeah, the pre-order should begin September 26, which is next Thursday. Ah, oh, here. There it is. See? The PS5 Pro console available this holiday at MSRP or manufacturer suggested retail price for $699.99. That's US dollars or 700 US dollars. That's before tax, okay? So, yeah, that is the official MSRP. When you buy in in the United States, yes, of course. The other countries, yeah, the, the price varies. You know, when it comes to like Br British pounds, um, Australian dollars, or Canadian dollars, euros, etc. Et you know, it, it varies dif different countries. But my point is that you know this this is how much you're paying when you buy the original, uh, the PS5 Pro console. Yeah, that's what it normally looks like. But but I'm talking about the uh, the 30th anniversary. See, this is the one I'm 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 looking at right now. But still, this is totally rip off. So here I'll show you on eBay website. Yep, this is the official eBay.com. See, see now you don't see that anymore. I checked it. You know, today this morning nothing is appearing because probably this seller got banned. So yeah, it's it's is the right time to you know start to wake up. You know, tell the whole world that this guy is like just freaking scamming everyone, you know. Yeah. So we can't let that happen. Trying to, you know, force everyone, you know, you know, take all the money from the wallet and then just, you know, spend it at a ridiculous high price point, you know. Yeah. I, I, I'm just getting tired. I'm pretty sure everyone is getting tired of these scalpers. This, this has to end. Everyone's tired of it, but still. You're still going to expect, you know, some people to resell it. Yeah, look at this.
Let's check it out, you know. Um, let's see. MP Gaming Shop. Yep. That is the name of the seller. You know, PS5 Pro console pre-sell. Pre confirmed pre-ordered. So that means like this um customer, you know, like you basically pre-ordered it, then he's gonna re attempt to, to resell it on eBay for a ridiculously high price point. Look at this. 1400 US dollars. I think that's Canadian dollars or it's approximately a thousand US dollars. Nobody's gonna pay for that. That's not worth it. This is anytime if it even if it you bought it, if it ships to you and if you don't get everything you get and it's it's just all of a sudden not working, it, you're you're pretty much like shit out of luck. You know, there's no way you can uh return it or get a refund, see, especially you know, um uh the warranty because they're gonna because if you try to do a warranty they might ask you for like a proof of purchase like where did you buy it from you know oh i bought it from ebay but see you, you, how can you like you know prove it that you actually bought it you know like because normally you know when you do the warranty they may ask you like where do you actually buy it from like if you bought it from like you know a PlayStation Direct Store, yeah, then uh, they understand. Yes, you can get like a replacements. Uh, if you buy from other uh, participating retailers like Target, you know, GameStop, uh, what else? Best Buy, etc. Yes, then you can still, you know, get a, get a replacement uh, under warranty. But if you buy from like you know like from eBay, for example, then pretty pretty much you know you don't get a chance to you know um get a get a replacement like like you don't have like a like a proof of purchase um including like you know the invoice the the receipts and yeah so that's why i i never want to buy from this scalper it, it's just not worth the, the risk in my opinion i never ever buy from these i'm pretty sure many of you will agree but yeah but that's my point, you know. Um, other than that, yeah, that's that's what's been going on right now, you know, because uh, we still got you know a few days left before pre-orders about to kick in. See, right now it's September twenty second, so we're just like you know, yeah, a few days away from before pre-orders kicks in on September twenty sixth. That's Thursday, I think midnight, if not maybe. One o'clock in the morning sometimes yeah there's there's a delay yeah but it is what it is and and one more thing i like to show you is uh if you go to the target apparently there are no more disk drives yep that's right no more it's out of stock everywhere like gamestop best buys uh, amazon nothing you can't buy it anymore it's uh it's completely out of stock right now i, I we know why it's because of the the ps5 pro announcement it, it does not come with a blu-ray disc drive which really sucks i understand many 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 people wants a blu-ray disc drive so that you not only want to you know watch movies um blu-ray but also you know you want to like you know buy the fiscal game copy so that you um you just play the game but also maybe one of your your siblings or your friends would like to you know borrow the game try them out if they're interested yeah it's all about preservation you know some people wants to uh collect game, physical co game copies as a collection too so that's the reason why we need a, a physical disk drive yeah but for me you know it's not a problem for me because i don't really use blu-ray as often as i used to um most of the time just you know watch movies and play games digitally so all like you know hulu netflix etc that's that's pretty much it i don't really use it very often but for everybody else i completely understand i know it's a really high demand yeah i'm pretty sure many many of you still needs a physical disc blurry disc drive yeah yep so pretty much you know you got to wait until it's um back in stock then you can Try to add the cart and you know get your hands on the Blu-ray disc drive as soon as possible. Um, but other than that, yep, yeah, that's about it. You know, I'm just you know gonna wait until September 26th, trying to you know pre-order the PS5 Pro, a 30th anniversary 
limited edition bundle if I'm really, really lucky because right now they're going to sell like uh, 12,300 units. So that re re represents that, you know, the day the PS1 comes out, like was December 3rd, 1994, I think. I don't remember the the year, but yeah, but you get at what I mean. But still, you know, I'm just, you know, excited. I just hope to God I will get my hands on the, the 30th anniversary uh, edition, the PS5 Pro, you know, get the regular DualSense, a DualSense edge controllers, charging stations, uh, the console itself, and, you know, things like you get the original PlayStation control style, cable connector housings, cable ties, stickers, posters, paper clips. Yeah, that's... That's what I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so with that, you know, um, that's that's about it. I got nothing else to say. So I'm about to like, you know, um, end this video and, you know, take a break for a while. So, yeah, take it easy and take care.